Hi, I'm Jack Barnes, President and CEO of People's United Bank. I'm here on Audubon Street in New Haven, a vibrant cultural center. People's United Bank is proud to support the communities where we live and work. That's why we're supporting CPTV and the many Connecticut cultural treasures they will be featuring over the coming months. Look for stories each week featuring a cultural treasure in your neighborhood. Feels very smooth. One of the best ways to learn, especially as a child, is through play. That's the philosophy here at the Connecticut Science Center, the state's premier science museum, where everyone is encouraged to plunge in and learn. Really, we want to facilitate lifelong learning, especially through the filter of science, through innovative and interactive experiences that really will help them understand the world and how it works. Apollo 16 represented the first study of the central lunar highlands. 150 exhibits and a state-of-the-art 3D theater. Meerkats. See them as never before in the 3D movie from National Geographic. Each and every attraction tells a story and has to pass a critical test before going public. Will it be engaging? Can we sell it? Will it be something where you want to actually do that hands-on, minds-on play? Yes. In the sports lab, kids can measure their pitching speed, Throw. take a run down a mountain, and even learn what makes a helmet safe. So we'll test the baseball helmet. Put it on there nice and firm. Rotate it back in. The computer measures the impact of the hit, a real life lesson on concussions, a hot topic on playing fields these days. And that's a real world application. People do that. They design and test real helmets. While a lot of these exhibits seem like just plain fun. In this exhibit, you can control the water, you can turn it on and off. There's actually problem solving at work without kids even realizing it. You can manipulate the sediment, which is basically these glass beads, and you're learning a little bit about physics, about engineering, about uh, hydrology. This is our black rat snake. So this is one of the longest species of snakes that you'll find in Connecticut. And if I TJ get, uh, McKenna collects oil, everything here in the River of Life gallery. He regularly heads out to the Connecticut River and Long Island Sound to introduce kids to their low-profile neighbors. People are really surprised to find some of the things that we have here in this area. Doesn't they feel just like that rock? I think what makes me happiest here is really seeing somebody connect with something because when you connect with whatever it is you tend to remember it. Now why do you think it'd be a good idea to be black on the top and white on the bottom? If you're above this, if you're a bird or a hawk that wants to eat this, you want to blend in with the dirt. TJ also designed the ultimate nature escape here on the rooftop of the sixth floor in the heart of the city. So you chose everything that was up here too, right? Yes, I really tried to put a lot of thought into what kind of plants that we could have up here to inspire people. 150 different species, grasses, flowers, and lots of succulents in the xeriscaping garden. Xeriscaping allows you to have beautiful plants, but still you don't really need to add additional water. Our soil is really, really dry and kind of gravelly. Yeah. And that's important for rooftop gardens because rooftop gardens insulate the building. So this really has a practical impact in terms of keeping energy costs down. Research has shown in cities like Hartford, having plants on the rooftop actually lowers the temperature of the urban environment. This garden helped the Science Center score gold status as a green building. Grandma, I found the tail. But it's the cool attractions that keep school kids coming back. The Science Center is a major field trip destination. We made like these flying paper crafts and what you do is like you put them on here and then they fly up. Woo! 
I made it out of cardboard and popsicle sticks. Science Center staff also trained teachers in technology and engineering to help them go beyond the textbook. The concept behind this is basically a unit that we created uh, for all Hartford Public School middle school teachers. This one in particular is elevators, um, so we focus a lot on forces, energy, and simple machines. Is it moving? Okay, but let's fix the pulley. That should be zero. I'm back to being a learner. So I'm seeing the project from the kids' point of view. We know the science, but we don't know the hands-on piece. So for them to come in and do this, it's, it's wonderful. All part of the Science Center's philosophy that you're never too old to learn. Funding provided by CPTV, the State of Connecticut, Melinda and Paul Sullivan, the Sandra and Arnold Chase Family Foundation, and People's United Bank, what know-how can do.